Hello and welcome. Uh, this mini lecture will help you get oriented for the 700114 unit introduction to engineering business management. Uh, today we'll cover a little bit about the learning guide. We'll talk also about the assessment items, obviously a very important uh, element of the unit itself. And then we'll move into the content for week one, uh, which is introduction to introduction to management, where we'll cover Definition of management, the four management functions, organisational performance, and we'll talk a little bit about management skills and types. And then we'll finish up with uh, expectations for the coming week. So hopefully that gives you uh, a bit of an overview for what we'll cover today. This should be viewed and read with in conjunction with uh, all the other materials in this unit on views. Uh, once again, welcome to Introduction to Engineering Business Management. As uh, engineering associates, uh, many of you would have already realised that our technical skills will only take us so far. You know, and the managerial skills, and at the very least uh, people management skills, are likely to be key ingredients for success. Now, this is the case, uh, this is the case rather, uh, whether you're a seasoned manager already, first time supervisor, or indeed uh, remain a technical specialist. The importance of having uh, strong managerial skills and uh, strong uh, strong people skills. So this unit is about providing you with an overview of, uh, of engineering business management to equip you with those skills uh, uh, now and in the future with your career. In terms of the detail, obviously we'll provide you somewhat of an overview of the unit today with its contents. Importantly, some of the assessment items, you need to get your head around what's uh, what's expected of you throughout the semester itself. I will also touch on the content uh, for week one and what's required there. Okay, the, uh, the learning guide. Uh, you should obviously first access the learning guide from views and review it thoroughly so you've got a strong understanding of what's covered in this unit. Again, the same for not just this unit, but the any unit that you undertake uh, through uh, EWS College. Uh, the learning guide itself should be your first destination if you have any questions at all, because it always provides uh, good guidance and assistance in relation to the in relation to the unit itself. In terms of what it covers, uh, the unit details section really speaks to uh, to uh, contact information and key personnel. Uh, important that you obviously understand that. Moving down to the attendance requirements, that relates to how the unit will be delivered uh, on a week by week basis, and you need to understand that obviously to schedule your time accordingly. Uh, learning outcomes, obviously, the important elements of what's to be covered in the unit, and for this particular unit, five uh, significant learning outcomes. Firstly, to recognize the functions and complex nature of modern engineering business management. Secondly, to recognise the role, abilities and core competencies of the engineering associate, yourself that is, in those engineering type businesses. Thirdly, to understand the principles and processes of modern engineering business management and then identify any key areas of management in SME uh, businesses for further improvement. Uh, fourthly, look to integrate and apply the principles uh, that you've learned to solve some complex engineering problems and become effective uh, leader in the, mar in the marketplace. And then finally, explain the internal and external environment of business and formulate the business strategies. So they're the five uh, key learning outcomes for, uh, for this particular unit. Now moving down to the unit uh, content itself, that really presents a, uh, just a weekly schedule of the various topics and subtopics that you'll cover in this unit. Uh, we'll largely stick to uh, the chapters within the uh, within the assigned uh, Samson and Daft textbook itself, which we'll cover a little later on. And then, importantly, your assessment items um, you need to obviously get your head around those very very quickly. Uh, there are four of them. Uh, we'll go through them in a little bit more detail on the next uh, on the next slide. But uh, important that you're clear on what's required and when that should be actually uh, submitted. And then finally, uh, the textbook itself, I, I've made reference to it very briefly uh, a minute ago. It's the uh, Danny Sampson 
and Richard Daft uh, textbook, Fundamentals of Management, and it's the fifth edition, which is the fifth Asia Pacific edition. It's important uh, that you you get access to that. Uh, there are also other readings which we uh, will uh, use throughout the semester, and you should also use to further your understanding uh, of uh, of the learning outcomes we mentioned above. So really, there. Uh, I guess the the contents of the learning guide absolutely vital that the first thing you do is actually get access to the learning guide uh, because throughout my teaching career uh, and even my own student career uh, always my full screen should also be yours okay the assessment items Very important to get your head around what's required here because uh, from week one we assess you and uh, we'll cover that in a little bit more detail when we go through the quizzes. But just working our way through the list, uh, the first is a uh, case study report, which is a uh, requirement for you to write a report, 3,000 words. You'll get yourselves into groups of four to five uh, students. That's due in week nine of the semester and uh, will be worth 25% of your overall mark. Again, have a look at the assessment item tab on uh, on views, and you get some more details about uh, this semester's assessment, uh, which actually is drawn from, the, uh, drawn from your text. We're using the General Motors continuing case. It's been chosen, I guess, because of its relevance to engineering business management, and certainly for its coverage of the important uh, unit content and learning outcomes. So that's the case study report. Uh, as part of that case study report, you'll have to do a presentation of your findings, 15-minute uh, presentation, short presentation, so a nice and tight presentation. Make sure it's interesting and, and it has a good balance of, uh, obviously, uh, pictures, graphics to, to words. That's worth 15% of your overall mark, and it's also due for presentation in week nine of the semester. And the third element, which is the one I mentioned right up front, is every week, uh, once you've completed your uh, your online materials, there's an online quiz. Uh, Ten of those throughout the semester, and overall represent 20% of your overall mark. So there is a quiz for this week. Uh, you need to make sure that you uh, you log on and get that uh, get that done, uh, and continue to do that as you progress throughout the course of the week. Covers obviously the content from uh, from the week itself. And then finally, which we won't get too excited about now, is your final exam. Open book, two hours, 40% of your overall mark. So it's just a bit of a summary of your assessment item, just so you know what is required of you in terms of, uh, of, of uh, assessments and assignments. Uh, but again, for more detail on that, please, please, please ensure you review the, the learning guide itself. Okay, in terms of the content for this week, Topic is introduction to management. Um, important here that you uh, review the on-screen learning materials. Certainly take notes. Review chapter one of your text, uh, and obviously follow the links for and watch any of the videos that have been provided for uh, for your attention. At the end of that, uh, those pieces, there's uh, some discussion questions. Important that you undertake that to develop your understanding of the, the content. It's also important that you uh, you share your thoughts on those questions with the other students uh, via the discussion board on view. So just repeating, uh, introduction to management is the content and the topic for uh, for this week. Obviously, covering four subtopic areas of defining management, the four important management functions: planning, organizing, leading, controlling, organizational performance. Again. What is it that we're planning, organizing, leading and controlling for? And that's for obviously for organizational performance. And then we'll talk briefly about different management skills, types and roles that uh, might be necessary to uh, to undertake our, our roles effectively. Now, finally, I uh, wanted to just, I guess, alert you to what's coming up in week two. Topics will be uh, the environment and corporate culture covering external and internal environments. We'll also talk about different types of culture uh, within uh, within organizations, and you need to reflect on your own organization there to make it real for yourself. 
Uh, and then also, if we can get you into your groups, so group formation for the case study report and the oral presentation assessment items. So that's uh, items one and two. That's a good outcome. So uh, really, that's just to show you what's coming around the corner. Um, any questions, my, my firm recommendation is make prompt contact with your instructors. So you'll find those details on the learning guide or in the learning guide or on the uh, on, on views for this particular unit itself. Okay, enjoy the week and look forward to speaking with you next week. Bye.